What you got there, man? Well, I'm not really sure yet, but I'm working on it. Trying to get these stupid trailing arms that we thought were such a great idea. Who's we? These stupid trailing arms that I thought was such a good idea. <laughs> and, In theory, uh, it wasn't a bad idea. I mean, if you pull it off, it'll be amazing, but yeah, it'll be cool. We shall see. It's got all this kind of weird stuff going on. Anyway, um, as always, welcome back. We are working on the brute. See, we're not liars. Completely, I mean, kinda, but we're here. We're doing stuff on the brute. So, uh, take this journey with us as we try to figure stuff out. Let's just, let's just dive on into that. What do you think, man? Did you get it all uh, get it all lined out? I think so. So, so. you want to explain what's going on here? Okay, so this is the trailing arm setup. What we got going on is... Actually, yeah, well, to reverse that, go ahead and introduce, like, the... What's been taking so long and why it's taking so long and what's so different about this setup to those of uh, okay. the viewers who don't understand the difference between this... Right, yeah, so... And this. We have, this bike originally came with control arms, which are like this, like we did for the front here. We built these custom ones. Um, but we decided against that because we, one, we want to do something a little different. And two, our shock length on the back would have just been too much. So we decided to go with something custom and try to challenge ourselves. Um, and it's definitely been challenging. It's, uh, it's kicking my ass, to be honest. But I think I've got it kind of sorted out and I've got the recipe for this so I can duplicate it for the other side. But now I've got to try to figure out how to basically do the same thing on the top, but instead of going to the frame, tie in back into this arm here. And then we'll have bars that go, two bars that go from here up to here like a radius system yeah like a radius arm uh like the razors and uh can-ams and like stuff this like this guy that. right here yeah just like that but on a brute force because we're crazy and so uh, why did you decide to go with this over just doing control arms uh for strength mainly oh because of uh just sheer brute force strength <laughs> just brute <laughs> Force. For the record, <laughs> I am a father, so I can make dad jokes. <laughs> Sorry, it was too easy. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's going to be a whole lot stronger, and uh, it allowed us to also stretch the axles back a little bit so we can kind of give it a little more wheelbase, make it a little more stable. Without stretching the frame without itself. Without stretching the frame. Because, yeah. uh... Can I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, obviously... With that being said, we got the one side. We're trying to get done, trying to get mocked up. This has been a headache, and this reason right here is why it's taking us so long. So I hope you guys understand because, I mean, like, there's been a lot of planning. I mean, this dude not only is, is figuring this out, but he had to figure out CAD on top of this for certain little parts here and there that we haven't even got to yet. So, like, he's figuring out computer programming stuff on top of doing that. I mean, it's just, it's an ordeal. So... Thank you guys, those of you who are still here and stuck around with patience. But uh, right now, I guess it's back to the grindstone and let's see if we can get this side situated and I'll pick back up then. See you guys after a while. I hate us, I hate us. <laughs> why, why do you hate us? Why are we, we could spend we all this money <laughs> and build something stupid or we could spend a little money and fix what existing problems that we have. <laughs> So, um, yeah, our table keeps leaking, so um, our solution was to stop it from falling. And uh, the way that we thought would work best to hold both of these, as we have with this table here, is uh, we can stop the point in the front here so we scissoring down, but then we ran into an issue where it will just tilt all the way back. 
small jack, why are you? <laughs> so we're just trying to get a jack and put it in the back now. Or jack stand. I've, I've been saying jack, jack stand. You, you all know what the fuck I'm talking about. But that's what we're trying to do in the back. So that we could uh, use our homemade plumb bob. <laughs> <laughs> we can use our homemade stands, but our homemade guides. Professional, <laughs> professional Jackson, are you? Well, uh, if the brute falls off the jack and dies, it's not mine. It's it is mine. So, ah, oh, who the fuck is the, that guy? Are you on it over there? Uh, it's pretty close. If it's not, bump it down. It won't go down. All the way off. Then guess what? It's good. <laughs> all right, so now let's level this and take all our measurements off of this permanent little spot. <laughs> now that we have that solved. We're geniuses. We definitely oh, are mechanics. It's definitely, <laughs> 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 definitely not cutting springs. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not having our boot fly away. <laughs> definitely won an award. Ooh, I was gonna say definitely have all our shit running, but we don't, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's not push the boundaries. Yeah, we already already did. All right, well, um, now that we have a, uh, a level table, sort of, kind of, we'll uh, actually get back to building the brute. <laughs> chaotic I like look at the pictures of it and I'm like god dang there's so much crap on the table and like you can't even really tell like you can't really see it in its glory you know I don't know where we left off um it's a different day and we we just kind of got laser focused on trying to mimic this side but I guess the last video last video last segment last segment y'all saw that uh we had this side done for the most part, we just have to have, what are these called, trailing? No, the, what arms? Uh, radius. Radius arms. Wait, I thought these were radius arms. No, these radius are trailings. Arms. Trailing arms. Trailing arms, whatever. Trailing the, arms. The extra radius. arms. We gotta have those tacked up, but uh, we miscalculated the width there. So we're cutting off these tabs. We're gonna make new tabs for the 90th time, I think. Yeah. Feels like the 90th time. Aaron got this side mocked up, mimicked pretty great. Um, if you, I guess, look from here, see it's pretty uh, pretty much the same, almost a mirror. Um, but yeah, that's uh, what we got accomplished today. By the next video, I imagine, um, we'll have the trailing radius arms, whatever radius you call them. Arms. 
those done. Probably some extra supports, kind of somehow extra supports here, extra supports on the front. Maybe some shocks on it. No, we definitely will have shocks. Um, and then hopefully by the end of that one, you'll see this thing sitting on the ground once the tires and wheels. Yeah, we got all the brute content coming. We know it's been seven months since you guys have been asking for it all. Um, so it's it's been a hot minute. So. It's been 84 years. It's making progress. I mean, would you look at her? She's literally as wide as this Razor 1000. It is too. Which uh, you may be saying that's really stupid of you guys to do, but we think it's genius. Yeah, we're in love. It's amazing. So yeah, next video, you'll see uh, shocks on it. Hopefully the portals, hopefully axles, maybe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, um, Justin's favorite part of, of all the, the video stuff is if you guys have made it this far, thank you. Um, we're almost to a thousand subs. Yeah, we're close. Really close. close. So if- Just, uh, you sub up. Yeah, do, do all that, that stuff. It'd be huge. Like, like the video. I don't know if it's that side or this side. Um, sub notification bell along with sub leave a comment let us know if you guys are finally happy that we're working on the brute if you're over it you think yeah if you you think we should have stopped a long time ago yeah which we we almost tried to yeah we tried yeah but uh thanks for watching uh we'll catch you in the next one yes next i gotta, I gotta take a bath you gotta take a bubble bath yeah Cause I'm all dirty. I'm not used to hope to be. Oh wow. It does look flatteringly large. <laughs> you're just the average dip? Eric's like, wow, you're not used to this kind of thing?